Alright, I've been waiting for Project Moon to release a new Yisang ID since launch, Emma, but they f***ing deliver. Unlike Encorp Sinclair, Spice Push Yisang is amazing for two different reasons. First off, he's a positive coin ID, so he could go full on Gabunga and not have to deal with any shenanigans to try and juggle your sanity. And unlike other traditional damage units that just wow. put out as much damage as they can on their skill 2 or skill 3, Yisang uses his skill 2 to sh** wow. gripping levels of damage on an AoE. In this video, I'll be going over Yisang's skills, his use cases, and notable synergies. I'm still trying to get the analysis format down so it's not too long or too short, so please make sure to leave feedback on what you thought worked or what you'd like to see in future videos. With that said, let's jump right into it. Sprouting Bud is very similar to Rabbit Heathcliff's skill 1, except for its one less space power. While its clashing potential pales to a lot of single coin skill ones that tend to roll up to 11, its potential damage output is far higher in comparison, eclipsing their 11 with its 21. The one power loss compared to Graze the Grass definitely hurts, but hey, it's kinda impressive he's only one power down using his tree branch versus, well, a gun. He also inflicts some sinking count on it the next turn and gives himself 3 tremor count on use. We'll get more into what that's for soon. Yisang's skill 2 coin values are basically identical to Grippy Faust's, with 3 coins going from 4 to 16, but the effects couldn't be more different. While the main draw of the gripping is the Gaze debuff that increases pierce and blunt damage taken, Yisang consumes 6 of his tremor count to turn his skill into an AoE. Now, you might be thinking, oh, Yisang's an AoE unit, and can't deal single target damage. Wrong! In Abno battles, depending on which parts his AoE targets, he can end up dealing double or even triple skill 2 damage, as AoE deals full damage to separate parts. No, that's a lot of that paired with his passive that boosts AoE damage, we're looking at a lot of damage here. He also inflicts some sinking which synergizes with his other sinking count skills, but you're gonna have to run some other sinking units if you really want to take advantage of this debuff as sinking counts get consumed rather quickly with each hit consuming a count. Bloodsteep Scent has 3 coins and rolls from 6 to 18. Pretty powerful for an ID with a skill 2 centric kit. For reference, other skill 2 centric IDs like Kurokumo Hongmu or Grippy Faust both have skill 2s that roll up to 12 in comparison. Now, I know I'm neglecting a lot of nuance by ignoring all the keywords, but it's not even like Bloodsteed Scent is lacking in that front. He gives himself 6 tremor count, inflicts some more sinking count, and even gets some single target support on the third hit dealing 30% bonus damage when tremor count is 10 plus. He also does the funny, I'm gonna pop all of your sinking count and deal 20k damage thing. Now if you noticed that my voice sounds like I got 2 hours of sleep this past week, that's because I was farming my ass off so I could get sun shower for this video. And that's because, in my opinion, this is one of the best ego ID combos in the game right now. Spicy Yisang generates every sin resource necessary for Sun Shower, and his ID passive boosts its already high ego, I mean AoE damage by 30%. The ego passive helps Sin recuperate the sanity costs incurred from his skill 3 and ego usage, not to mention the team wide sloth damage and power buff, which is super valuable. The passive for Wishing Kern is actually kinda nice as it covers up Spicy Yisang's blunt weakness. Unfortunately, all of its resources overlap with Sun Showers, so you probably want to use this ego once for its passive. Crow's Eye View is useful as a cheap clash win and to debuff Abno parts with multiple moves. Not really a fan of the passive though. Yizang really just has a sinking keyword to go off of, but with how difficult it is to maintain stacks, 
I believe team building is better left focusing on his ability to fuel his Sun Shower combo. Isang, Seven Otis, Kurokuma Honglu, W Corp Dawn, and anyone with some gloom like the new Rodian and Sinclair or even Sun Shower Heathcliff work pretty well for fueling Sun Shower and benefiting off of the sloth buffs. However, most of the harder content allows you to stockpile resources for tougher fights, so Spicy Sang should fit into most team comps as he really doesn't need much to enable him. With that in mind, a more meta slavey comp for that one railway fight that's been giving you trouble might look like Yi Sang and Corp Faust and Sinclair, R Corp Heathcliff and W Dawn. The sanity game from Faust and Sunshower passive are quite nice for maintaining Yi Sang and Sinclair's sanity, and everyone benefits from Faust's gaze debuff. Assuming Yi Sang only has one skill slot, Using skill 3 on the first turn will leave you with 5 stacks at the beginning of the second, necessitating a skill 1 usage before you can cash in for skill 2's AoE on turn 3 at the earliest. And this lets you empower only one of his skill 2's in the first stack rotation, due to him losing a tremor stack every turn. However, if you really want to pull the most out of Isang's AoE potential, you can run a team of 4 members, putting Isang in the first slot. This leaves you with only 4 skills in the first turn, but lets Yi Sang get 2 skill slots from turn 2 onwards, allowing him to generate tremor stacks at a much faster pace. More info on this big range strategy in Steamed Bun X's video, links in the description. Make sure to leave a like and comment on his video. Sanity Drain is actually a concern for Yi Sang as his skill 3 drains 10, and Sun Shower drains 35, and you know you're gonna be spamming that. <laughs> leading to a lot of moments where Sun Shower will just not roll heads and you'll miss out on a bunch of damage. So it might be a nice idea to bring some sanity regen along in the form of Faust Base Ego, Grippy Faust, or Base Honglu Passive. Spicy Isang seems to be in a great spot to position himself in metacoms for the next Refraction Railway boasting high clash and damage values, and high team light utility with the Sun Shower Ego, and even more synergies to come with the sinking effects. His weaknesses in his skill 1 clash values and SP drain can easily be played around, so expect to start seeing him in many low turn clears. 